yes, there are warnings for the Singapore Premier League that they can learn from the A-League because a few years ago, Graham Arnold, who's now the Socceroos coach, mm. he used to be the Sydney coach, he said that the A-League only served the A-League and nothing else, meaning... He wanted a reserve league. He wanted a second division. Oh, he so wanted promotion and relegation. Does this sound familiar to <laughs> anyone in Singapore? Oh. Because the argument is that the A-League hasn't produced the players that the old National Soccer League produced oh. because the grassroots connections to it's their communities Monday. produced like Mark Viduka, Mark Schwartz, uh, uh, Harry Kuehl and lots of others – but that got lost when the A-League started. And you can kind of make that argument with Singapore a little bit, mm -hmm. that since the Malaysia Cup and there's a splintering of the communities and the connection to football, the Singapore Premier League is not producing players as regularly as the Malaysia Cup days. And the A-League is not producing players mm -hmm. of the quality of the National Soccer League, even though the National Soccer League was semi-professional, mostly. Yeah. And now the A-League is professional. So that's the similarity. The A-League is still trying to reconnect with its grassroots football and the Singapore Premier League really needs to do the same.